Welcome to another interview presented by Alvin Wrestling Forums. I'm Jackson Bast here with State Placer and recent WVU Tech commitment, Kirk Smitherman. How are you doing today, Kirk? Doing great. How about you, Pablo? I can't complain. I can't complain. So let me start off by asking you, what got you into wrestling? Um, so seventh grade, gotta go back to seventh grade year. I did not make my whole life was basketball. And I did not make the seventh grade basketball team, and I was pretty upset. And then our middle school coach the next day started recruiting wrestlers and I was one of them. And so that's, that's when I tried it for the first time. And I just fell in love with it ever since then. And, and honestly, so of course, you know, I went to Barry, I went to Spain park and I, I just don't know what the, the keys to success that coach McGoy does at Oak Mountain metal, but time and time, oh, yeah. were you there? Was it the 400th and the 500th dual win? um no that was the year before that would have been my sixth grade year oh so yes I wasn't part of that team but my seventh grade year so but what are what are, what are some of the things that you know I, I don't know how he does the recruiting but he just like grabs people you guys end up having c teams which I've, I've never been a part of a group that had c teams but oh yeah so like we he just grabs like scrappy little dudes that just he knows that don't aren't gonna be in other sports that like basketball or football and so he just grabs us out of nowhere and I mean we try to fit in as fit in as much as we can so <laughs> and uh how did he kind of give you a really good foundation when you started the sport uh so really really the person that gave me a real foundation was Tanner Moon I mean coach McGoy was he he of course was like my first ever school coach but I didn't really start start understanding the sport of wrestling until I got to coach until I got to uh, wrestle for Tanner. So he, he just helped me lay a foundation of like learning the basics and then knowing how to compete and just learning from the sport from there. So. So, so then kind of go into what you, what kind of how your wrestling kind of evolved when you started wrestling with Tanner. Well, see, I, I started going to like tournaments like Southeast regionals and, I just got better and better and better. Now, my first my first off season was act, absolutely terrible. I I'm pretty sure I went like zero and twenty six. Um, that's not I like I did not win a single match. This no, I'm being dead serious. I did not win a <laughs> single match the summer of twenty seventeen. I remember it, and I just remember like breaking down. Like it's like I just want to quit this. But he he's he really meant a lot to me. Just kept me staying with it, and so. You know, he kept he he worked with me one on one a lot. And so we we finally developed a style that I could I could get used to. So that's how I that's how I developed. So and, and then, of course, you know, you, you make it into high school and you start wrestling under coach Steve Burrow. And, you know, that that in itself, I don't know. But like Oak Mountain just seems like they're one of the tightest teams ever. You know, I know that they're. Oh, yeah. There, but no, go ahead. No, no, no. Coach, Coach Burrow's an excellent coach. I, he's done a lot for us and a lot for our team, and I couldn't thank him enough for everything that he's done for me. But, yeah, there's always good competition in the room, always people that want to get better. So that's that's why we've always been a consistent team the four years that I was there. And, you know, you you kind of – and and don't take this as a knock, but you were kind of – you were kind of here, the bowl kicker. You were always consistently placing. And then, I, you know, I watched you a lot your senior year – and I don't know what happened, but like, it just seemed like everything clicked for you and you went oh, yeah. on an absolute tear. Uh, it was just, it was just like the mindset is just like every match could be my last. And that, that I just went to a mindset that every single match. And I mean, I just, I put in the work and I, the results came. So, I mean, I'm, I'm proud of what I did this season. I mean, I wish I would have wrestled at state, but I mean, it is what it is. So. Yeah, and you know, I, I can't imagine that that was, you know, that, that's got to be a pretty, pretty disheartening experience in and of itself to not be able to wrestle at your, your senior state. Mm -hmm. But you know, I know that you ended up like it's like I said in the in the opening that you committed to West Virginia Tech. Uh, Coach Stowe, uh, I know, has kind of had to rebuild that program, and he's done a really good job of doing it so far. But you know, during the recruiting processes you know, what kind of led you to coach Dow? So I, I mean, I, I reached out to a couple of schools. It, 
it came down to make the main three were King University in Bristol, Tennessee, University of Ozarks in Clarksville, Arkansas, and then West Virginia Tech. Uh, visited all three schools, and um, Coach uh, Coach Harris, at, uh, the one of the assistant coaches at West Virginia Tech, he really he really just explained to me how like how how it, how I would fit into their program, and when I went up and visited there, I went once I saw like the town and all that, and I got to visit more and more and know the coaches. Well, I knew I knew that I would be going there, and I knew that I could make some noise at West Virginia Tech. Now, uh, you know, I, yeah, I've been to Beckley a, a couple of times. Is there anything that really stuck out to you in the area? Or, I mean, I just like, I just like the area. I like, uh, I like the, I've always liked the mountains. So, I mean, that's why West Virginia stuck out to me. And like, you know, the area is pretty cool. And uh, it's just, it's like a small town. It's not too big, not too small. So, I mean, I think, I, I think I fit perfect in it. Now, now, the only reason that I ever go up there, and I'm not ashamed to say it, is that it's a Buffalo Wild Wings. And I, <laughs> there's not one in Bluefield. The nearest one is, I think it's someone in Beckley. I might drive a little extra to go to the Chipotle. It's in Blacksburg. <laughs> but, but yeah, I think I've only been to, to, uh, to Beckley once. And it's weird. It's only 45 minutes away, but it's a really nice area. Uh, part of the Appalachian Athletic Conference right now. <laughs> Heard some rumors. It might change. Don't know. Yeah. But uh, no, I mean, so Kirk, as you look back on your career, you know, what do you hope that you did for Oak Mountain Wrestling? I just hope I set an example that like, if you work hard and you're determined uh, to want to be good at wrestling, you can. Um, I was, I'm not the most athletic. I'm not the strongest. I'm not the quickest, but I, I developed into a good, good decent wrestler that made some noise um the past couple of years in my high school career and um so it's just I just want to leave that legacy on um as I go to West Virginia Tech too I always want to be the hardest worker in the room and I always want to let people know that I'm there and I have something to prove so I hope I left that legacy in Oak Mountain and, and I, I definitely think speak I speak for the entire state of Alabama in saying that you definitely did que- leave quite a legacy, not only at Oak Mountain, but in the entire state. One of the you know, biggest hearts I've ever seen. Kid where, you know, he wears his heart on the sleeve. He wrestles out there. He leaves it all on the map. Uh, and of course, you know, what are you looking forward to the most? You know, I know the future is, a, you know, a little exciting, a little nerve wracking. What are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to getting cleared, man. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting back on the mat with my friends and getting better starting over into a new career um I, that's what i'm looking forward to most and moving on moving on to college and starting starting big things at west virginia tech so but that all starts when i get cleared and i i can <laughs> no no i mean you're you're 100 right i uh 100 <laughs> believe you i just I, I guess when i was asking i was thinking a little more long term you know like what, what are your goals as you go into college my go- well, I want to leave another legacy in West Virginia Tech, and I also my my big goal, like big big picture, is I want to I want to become a competitor for an NAIA national championship. That would be that would be an awesome um, accomplishment if I could do that. So that would be that would be pretty cool. And uh, you know, what do you what looks bright in the future of Oak Mountain Wrestling now that you've left? So I mean, we got we have two returning state champions. At I mean, you have Camden Tipton and Austin Bird coming back, uh, and they I've trained with them all four years in high school. Even when they were in eighth grade, they'd come up at the high school and train with me. And uh, just two of the best people I've ever met, and two of the best brothers on the mat I could ask for. And uh, I know they are going to lead, put that team behind their back next year. And I I think Oak Mountain's going to do some good things next year. You'll see them. You'll see plenty more besides cam and austin on the podium next year uh maybe at the top of the podium too so i'm it, like zach hawk and so other names like that so i'm hoping that oak mountain would is gonna burst up and burst open next year well uh kirk uh, that's all the questions i have for you thank you so much for joining me is there anything you want to say to my viewers before i let you go man it's been a pleasure to wrestle 
uh, in the state of Alabama. I love, I love the brotherhoods that I've created through this sport. And uh, thank you for everything you do, Pablo. Really appreciate it. I really appreciate that, Kirk. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, stay cool up in wrestling. Appreciate it.